Hey guys, welcome back, Marius here, and today we have pure gameplay of Foundation. I will not waste any time, I will do all the time uh, for the video playing the game, straight from the beginning, just so you can see how it goes. It's not something hard, there's nothing, but there will be my tips and advices, so let's jump right to the game and feel free to ask any questions you might have before you get yourself a game and check it out. Alright, I have it on, on pause, so at the beginning you have to choose something, obviously I would go, you need to choose something where you can find a berries and best case scenario obviously also a stone. And trees are all, always there basically. Alright, let's unpause and jump to the game, I will It's not on pause, is it? No, it's not. Okay, when I, once I purchase, should go. Why time is not going? Anyways. <coughs> ah, right. My advice at the beginning, you need to build a village center. I'm, I don't know why, but I always build in between rocks because there is no need. It's just easier for that. All right, straight from the beginning, they are giving you a uh, what to do basically the instructions first things you do mm, divide in the head your first area uh, one side will be production another side will be uh, for living so you need a builder let's make one a builder eh, let's make two a builder click on the people and they start and, and that's as easy as that they become a builder straight away you can start building um, at the beginning you will be used a lot of gatherers for this one position gatherers there are three people working in there eh, screw it something like that with controls hold down you can turn around and another one because that's e easiest way how to get a pool Simple as that. They are yeah, need to assign them people to start working on that. Yes, we have. Of course, we need to design an area what to cut and start here. And you also need to mark this area so people can pick very there, right? So we have already next. next assignment we need to produce berries berries will be produced here um, all the roads are basically path is made by people walking there so they start with the um, easiest fastest road so that should be fine we have berries let's assign two people at the bottom you can find villagers list and you can see I have only two unemployed people I need more of them so was that and we will get them. I'll show you. We are uh, what we need, and that's in a moment we will have it. Is uh, you see, the, there are three areas and all the unlockables for the game. Basically, once you have them all, the rest of that is just playing around the uh, sandbox mode. Um, and we need for warehouse, we need only 10 surf. That's the type of people um, we have. Uh, they are called when they start living somewhere they are called that's a strange name i'm not familiar with but so anyways yeah next next is we are starting we are producing berries we need to store them somewhere we'll go with pay attention to those little green marks that's the uh, sites where people are accessing this building this is important don't close don't for example, if you build something like this, that two, those two green um, entrances are blocked and that's really bad. Sometimes building is not usable and you need basically all four uh, sides available. Granary, new transporter, granary. So, um, people are assignable, you can assign easy. Once you click it, the closest available villager will be assigned here. It is important to keep in mind because distance will be your greatest enemy. 
as people live in one place and they work in another place. If that is more than, I try to get it uh, down to uh, below 100, 100 meters. If they're living like, the, in my biggest city, there's like 250 meters, they, until they get the job that they need to get back home and basically nothing is done and everything is bad. So currently, people are, as you can see, just coming out, picking berries, coming, uh, bringing it back, and those can be sold to your people. All right, we need, of course, they are not taking your hand with you, uh, like um, holding your hand all the time. So I need a granary, but they for, I forgot to build a um, stone cutter because stone cutter, as you can see, building needs stone. Yes, plus one more people is coming. Four people uh, were passing by and one joined. Basically, uh, here under the setting, you select or deselect if people are coming to your, to your city. Uh, once you have your good amounts, you don't need anyone more because obviously there's unemployment, they eat food, they need all the resources. There's a lot of problems having them. Let's assign two people, right? They let's make it three. I'll go crazy because you can at any moment just pick out people and assign them somewhere else. It's really simple. So at the beginning, for example, two builders, I don't need yet. At this moment, I have no resources, nothing. So, but yeah, I'll leave it at the moment for time's sake. Two, three people are gathering resources. Stones. Five stones needed. Come on, come on. Yeah, I, I don't have any more free unemployed people. Why the hell are you not looking to fill my needs? So, they have their spare time and then they have their warp time. In their spare time, they are trying to get home. Oh shit, silly me speaking so much. You need always to keep this uh, extraction area. If you accidentally remove it, people will stop gathering uh, those berries. Simple as that. And the same goes for stone. Silly me. Um, that's why no one was picking it up. Jeez. Mm. Another useful tool you will be using is Forbidden Land. For example, if someone the, the people started walking some path, uh, they tend to keep to the path and only if they need to go aside, then they create basically new path. If you want to make a correction of that, you make the area. For example, let's make a new path. This is basically how you create roads. No, no, not that side. Go the other way around, you see? And they start walking there and that's the area that will be new road. And after some time, this will disappear if I keep it, but okay, okay, I'll have it. So, we have a granary, we need to assign transporter. There is more people needed, so one builder will become unemployed, and I can... So now, the trans, uh, transporter, so transporter, what it does, he will pick up berries and bring to granary. That's, that's his job, his sole purpose in this, this game. Mm, next steps we need well because people need to drink as you see there will be some kind of road so I will build here a well so it's uh, I can access from all the sides we also need to build a market market is under monuments that's market is something interesting there is no specific area basically you make your market how it will look like for example you want to build something like this or whatever order or whatever style you want uh, i don't need as money as many i currently have only one berries those berries must be sold so i'll stick with one little here and yeah i want to make a tent I will use it later on, I will make it, currently I don't have cloth, so I'm just putting it there so I see 
how it looks, how many space is taken. Then I remove it and just start simple table. I will add that um, tent later. So market, rise your villager status to serve. So basically they're nothing, they're like, eh. So we need to get there. You see, four people are passing by, passing by and four people decided to join. That's good because I can, I need one more wood cutter. I need two more stone cutters. Basically here you can add four transporters in total. And at the basically end you want to fill all the gaps for your people, for your workplaces. And that's another workplaces you can see, I, I can click here and how much there's basically not not a single building fully uh, full of people, like working employees, employees, workers. So that's my market. I want this one tent to sell berries and under parts I can select one closest villager comes here. Now this villager goes to granary where it stored my berries, he's there and he is selling to my people. So my people to eat, they are buying from me back. That's that's where you get money. You get money from your people. When your people need something, for example, food, they are uh, purchasing everything from market. Not everything in tavern is the other place. But anyways, I have 11 minutes already played. Let's start with unlock warehouse from labor. So we have our 10 serfs. No, not yet. We need more people. Yes, but we unlocked, you see, oh, okay, we have, we have, you see, I have speed it up, I see no reason why you don't speed up your game. Anyways, we have 10 people, 10 serfs, and we can unlock because this is the easiest warehouse. Once we have it, yeah, I will just, while we are speaking, I need, I know that I will need my wood, so I add third people. Um, Rocks actually not so much, so I will keep it. I will for sure need a lot of berries. This one. And that's how you fire. This firing means this person, uh, the next time they come to work, they actually are unemployed. It will register after some time. Okay, it's there. So what is the next? Unlock tools, free, blah, blah, blah. Unlock trade road to get... So, this is trade road. You can find trader here. To unlock, we need this for this trading city. We need bread. Come on, closest. That's far away. This is planks. Only 20 planks. Yeah, I think we can handle that. So this is. You can see sawmill. It produces planks from wood. Best case scenario. Obviously, it's somewhere near. Not necessarily, but somewhere near lumber mill. Why? because they both have uh, building materials there. Those are building materials. And I will use my unlocked warehouse because granary, in granary you store food, in workplace, in this, uh, I mean, warehouse you store all other materials. And you see, I'm not building also here. And basically you, you want to spread out so people can go through the building so they're not going around in huge circles and whatnot. So far we are ignoring everyone complaining they don't have house. Yeah. Nobody has a lot of people in Africa living without houses, proper housing, so yeah, it's fine. Anyways, we see it's getting crowded because they don't have home, they come to the village center. We are not rushing houses because this is more important. We have stone, we have everything, it's just a question of the time. Mm, let's see if someone... Yep, yeah, unemployed, unemployed. No, you are a builder now. I need two builders. Screw it. Let's make a lot of... Because this is currently all my people are living just from berries. And it will be sometime like that. I will just straight away give you <laughs> the answer. Berries is something you want. And actually you will get more and more so at least one carp carpenter we have can we have two no we don't have our people coming probably will happiness average employment is high 
residential space low. Fine. Anyway, 15 minutes, we are already, our village just stopped looking like something. Because they will not die from starvation, they will not die without uh, water, they have water, food, basically, that's absolute minimum, so your people are not dying. And we start to produce some resources, as you see, we need planks for this warehouse. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you see, we are running out of wood, because there's nothing more to chop. That's another problem. Fine, let's take the little ones. Why? Because little ones are messing up. You will be drawing those um, areas a lot. Get used to it. Alright, alright. Fucking villagers without all. It's fine. I think we have unlocked also Forester. You need at least one Forester so you can um, plant back trees. So basically, every game. At the beginning, you don't have it, so mind uh, to, to keep it in mind. So you need also, okay, Forester was nothing that bad. You can leave here. One entrant. Mm, that's all good. Alright, alright, alright. We have a wood. So you need to pay attention to wood is produced, from wood you produce planks, but you need also wood for general buildings, for, for example, here. Oh, that's also a plank. Okay, cool. So, we have a warehouse. And planks are not coming as fast. Okay, fine, let's make one more. Meanwhile, as you can see, this is my production area. You can see them by res residential buildings. Residential is where your people want to live. And this green area basically comes from market. And it goes away from these buildings. So, I will show you a little trick uh, how you can manage where your people are building houses. You see, this is a little bit too small. Let's increase by one, holding con uh, control key. No, not big enough. All right, this size. Is it good? Is it good? Should be good. Don't trick me. All right. Meanwhile, we will mark another area. So you have, you, you see, we have extraction. We have reforestation. We will use forests. As funny as it sounds, right on our buildings because there are gaps in between, and we don't mind to fill them out with new people arrive. One is straight away becoming a force. All right, this this is not working. They are tricking me. All right, guys, place a house. You want to build a house? Yeah, you see? So this is how it goes. You can place like this. And you can remove it right away, it's no harm done. They will not demolish it. So you see, it's somewhat you can control where they build. That's it. Three buildings right away, and they need wood. I have two, two builders, everything is happening. Now we need to collect a little bit planks, we have planks, do we have planks, we unlock, boom, we have new territory, free new territory, otherwise new territory costs 500, uh, 500, this is the territory selection, so what we will do now, assign warehouse purchase, okay, 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 um, we need to expand in so this is, I have a water here. I don't want to spend it right now on this particular um, area because water is taking away my free space. At the beginning, space is quite luxury. So I am thinking of, to be fair here, I don't need those berries yet, but this will be my next unlockable, unlocked area. I'm unlocking this so I can expand my, um, my production. Everything, you see? More people are coming, people are happy, everything is fine. Now we need to figure out 
Ah, you see? What I'm doing now is, as I said, you will be using this tool a lot. Remember, don't remove that. No, you skip. You cut all those trees and you get all those trees. Just because I'm a forester at the moment, what I can do, you will do this. You will do something totally else. Anyways, what is the next? We need a sign warehouse. Yeah, we have a warehouse. We put together food, we put together planks, we put together rock. These are all three materials and we assign another transporter. So there is a guy who will pick all those resources and, and uh, store them right there. Um, <clears throat> and what is this last one? Yeah, tools. We also want tools. We can't produce them, but we will buy them. As you can see, this first unlockable, they are selling pretty expensive tools. And we find the next area. There's the tools, there's a marking. Buy until I have... I would advise to have 20 at least. Go buy, I don't know. So, once you have 20 of them, you will stop purchasing, obviously. When you spend them building something, you will... The more you spend, the more you will buy again. So if you are out of money, you can just stop a moment for the construction for anything. That's it. So, next step is... Yeah, those trees will be cut down at the moment, in a moment. What else can we do? Let me just quickly use the moment, you see? Money is coming and going all the way because you need to pay for maintenance and you also are gain, getting money every time someone purchases a berries. So you can pay attention. I had, I had 500 for sure. All right, okay. Forgers cannot access it. Okay, fine. Everything is fine. All right, let's keep building. Forester, wooden gate, nope. Stone mass, stone mass, and not house. Nope, 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 nope. Sawmill, granary, well, all right. This guy can go because, oh, I have berries. Okay, okay, I will pick up. So you can uh, choose three way, three areas to get, to get those little hammers, to get clergy or, or the, the swords. I will go for labor. So, and I need to provide, you need to click here and you deliver those uh, berries and you get the gold and you also get uh, gold and those uh, little hammers. You see, I have them, 13 and you need them to unlock. This is the way how you get them. Anyways, what is the next? We need a church. Those people, they need church to uh, level up the symbol. This is the first, um, um, how it's called? Monument, monument buildings, which is handmade. I, we had market, but that's well, that was nothing, not a much of the monument. So rustic church something. This also will boost my people um, will to live here. So I will place it somewhere between my potential in that area, in this area, uh, my production site. And, 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 so it will boost and it will be green here, all good. Forger. Yeah. Those berries, we need more berries. Okay, fine. We'll find anyways. Let's start quickly. You see, you have requirements to have a cord, to have a door, to have a bell tower. So, absolute minimum. You hope we have a core. Doors are pretty ugly. We save materials a little bit. So we have a door. And of course, we will have a bell. Small. Where is the bell? Yeah, wooden, fine. Do we need a little larger? So you can stretch it. But the more you stretch, the more planks you will need. That's not something you... Fine. Fine. And stop construction. 
And here, every single piece, doors, core and bell are separate basic entities. You can see the parts. I have two builders, so two of them are being built right away. Here, if I had three builders, all three would be stuck. You'll get the idea. That's one thing. Another thing for these buildings, there are two people living there and the desirability is quite low. And this is average. What you can do, you want to do, I'm still looking for that money. I need those sweet, sweet. 500. 500, anyone purchasing something? 500? <laughs> Damn it, no one's purchasing. Yeah, that guy needs berries to sell. Do we have a berries? Damn, no one is hungry. So, uh, you, you, you see why it is important to have healthy amount of uh, people in your city? Because they are purchasing goods from you. Basically, the more people you have, obviously there's a lot of problems with food and, uh, and deliver and housing and everything. But the more ha people you have, the more potentially you can sell. So that's ongoing cycle. It's the more you have, the more you need, the more you need, the more they will buy, the more they buy, the more money you have, the more money you have, the more buildings you can have. And it's ongoing, basically. That's, that, that, that's the circle. And currently we are upgrading right there. Another builder is currently basically available. So you can see this we can remove, but of course leaving stones. Stone is still available. But we can work with this right away. Building there. Building here. Anyone? Nope. Okay, I'll leave it. So next building that will uh, for housing will build will happen there. Forger can. Can I have those 500? I'm not paying close attention enough. Come on, come on, one berry, one berry, where's the cellar? Anyways... No, one more, one more, one more, one more! Come on! And I paid my maintenance. So yeah, this takes some time. You can uh, pay attention to... We need tools, we need planks, we need... Yeah, tools, tools, tools are being purchased, as you can see. There should be always those 20 we set, so we have 20 tools. This is a nice beginning. 500. I just paused the game with spacebar because I am going to purchase this one. As I said, there's also berries, but what we can do now, when those other berries are all done, basically they can they will go there so they will not wait for uh, they are coming back they are basically never ever ending and also the stone is never ever ending what is ending is forest if you cut it down you need to replace it so do we have a builder do we have yeah there should be a builder coming right in a moment we need some a little bit more housing but what, what else we can do? Okay, we don't have a, much, a lot of money, but that's not a problem. We'll have it, we'll have it. Alright, new unlockables. What we just unlocked. Ooh, we can have food and keep. Yes, we'll take keep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll build that keep, no worries. So now we have, as you can see, there's more, there will be even more buildings. Um, at half of the hour, I think I will cut the video at half of, half of hour. And the next part will continue right away from here because this is already good start. It's a very good start. I don't mind those 200 minus gold because we purchased, you can see here on the budget, uh, expenses trade expenses here trade expenses 200 and 240 gold was spent on because we spent all the tools so we need those tools but we have a berries berries we have a lot 
so we can have a lot of people more they are purchasing and we will be out of minuses in no time I will quickly show you one more thing I don't, I don't have money yet money is needed for few buildings not all buildings as you can see well, okay every building needs a little bit but that will be later more expensive but for example 25 yeah you see we can almost have it already and this is what I wanted decorative bush bush let's select this um, design rating you see it looks ugly as hell but it works what I'm doing you see once you hit some specific rating the building will evolve and not evolve basically now it's upgrading in not only two people can live there but four so in the same exact space I want to upgrade this one too and this little decorative bush it costs two gold two freaking gold it's nothing and you see now I have four people living in here you can go above that four is the maximum anyways this is what 31 minutes we will pick from right from here and then we'll continue actually i will cut it down so you people hate long videos uh, so next part is coming up we'll have more of industries and all that so far thank you guys for watching clicking uh, like shows me that you actually enjoy seeing new games and cool awesome games all right guys thanks for watching we'll meet you next video